Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with a tutorial for Scratch. This is a new tutorial for Scratch and the idea for this tutorial is about how to jump. Okay, and for this tutorial um, we are going to make this thing. Okay, so here we have Scratch and then we are going to press the spacebar and we are jumping. Okay, so basically that is the idea. So, and um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, well, uh, to start, let's create a new project. I'm going to use here a uh, Scratch Offline Editor. Okay, so, um, well, so let's start. And the idea here first is we have our character. So, but in this case, we're going to change the character. So let's just delete this just to change this a little bit and let's go here um, new sprite from the library and I check something from here so you can use uh, any sprite you want So yes, let me check. I have seen something here. Dog frog H J night. We're gonna use night. We click OK. So we have our night in here, and then we need just a backdrop. So we can use this one, or we can use this one. I don't know. So what about if we select? Uh, I guess this one it's okay castle so we have castle and we have our uh, knight so well we are going to start with this thing okay we have customs and we're going to use first let's start working with the initial things okay so i'm going to explain you this so when we have our character okay our character is like jumping it's going or is using a like a force okay to uh, for going up but as you know there's gravity and gravity has an opposite force the gravity it is like taking things uh, down or in this case to the center of the earth okay so we're going to think about that okay so the jumping force it is like going up it is like going like with positive values increasing in the y-axis but the gravity it is pushing things down so basically that is the idea that we're going to use to create this uh, jumping thing so first let's set the player or the sprite in the position so let's make it a little bit smaller well not that much I guess that's okay I have my uh, knight a little bit more yes that's okay then uh, we're going to start creating some variables here in data we're going to make a variable and we're going to call this variable uh, first uh, ah, as I told you we need gravity so let's call this gravity and as I told you the gravity is pushing things down okay so the value of this thing it has to be negative for this uh, tutorial we're going to use uh, 9.8 okay and we're going to start this um, when we click we're going to initialize this variable we're going to initialize to minus 9.8 because remember negative force going down now the next thing that we need um, it's we are going to check here this is the ground for our uh, uh, night so this is the ground so we jump we are over the ground and then we just land on the ground okay so we need to set the ground so let's check the position of the night so you can check it here or you can go to motion and then you just check here the values okay uh, for example you go to go to now the position in y it is minus 80 so that is going to be my ground so I'm going to create a new variable 
I'm going, I'm going to call it my ground. Okay, so this is the place where we are going to land. And we're going to initialize the variable when we click. And we're going to set it to the value that I show you that is in the night, that is minus 80 in this case. So we go to minus 80. And that is the crown. Minus 80. So that's the position. Okay, to land. Now there is another variable that it's like uh, something to detect if we are like jumping or not. Because imagine that we jump, okay, and then we hear, if I jump with the space bar, for example, and then I continue jumping, 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 jumping in the air, so we don't want to have that, okay? So we just want to, uh, you know, when you are jumping, you are not able to jump again if you are in the air, okay? So you can create a variable and you can call it is jumping, so like a question, is jumping? So and we're going to set for the initial value, the night is on the ground, so it's not jumping. So we're going to set it to zero. And one will be the value when the night it is like jumping. Okay, so well right now the night it is not jumping. We are on the ground. Uh we created the variable the ground, we created the ground, and we have this invisible force that is the gravity okay so now what's next well we need to check first um let's give some movement to the night so let's uh, do something when we move to the left or to the right okay just to make it more uh, interesting so and we're going to use here in control we're going to use a variable that is repeat until okay and we're going to use the keyboard Okay, uh, we're going to use when we pre uh, press the right arrow, so we're going to move it to the right. Okay, so and we're going to use here a loop that is a uh, repeat until okay, that is this one. Sorry, and then we're going to go here to operators, we're going to drag not, and then we're going to go to sensing. And then we're going to select here um, distance key. So repeat until the uh, right arrow it is not pressed. Okay, so if we just stop pressing this or holding this uh, key, so this is going to stop. What? Well, first. We are going to change um, the x value. We are going to go here to x value. Change the x value in a loop. If this is a loop. It will be like repeating this by minus uh, five or five. Well, no. If we are going to the right, we have we need to increase this by positive values. So we are going to change it. Now I'm going to press now the right arrow. Check. And when I just stop like um, this kind of uh, pressing, the night stops. What happens if I don't have this condition and I just have a loop? Well, the, uh, the night will go just like going over there. If I have this loop, the night will go and then it is like just going forever and ever okay so we don't want that we just want that when we are like pressing this guy to move so we're going to use this now for the other side we're going to duplicate this okay going to the left so we're going to press a shift and then the left button of the mouse and then you have this menu and you select duplicate now we drag it in here and we are going to select here left arrow then we just change here to left arrow and then these two minus because it's going to the left so negative values to the left so now if I press the left it is going to the left but now what about the night it is not facing the left side so to do that we're going to go here to um, I guess it is in a here in motion and we're going to go for set rotation style so we are going to change the rotation style from um, 
left to right. Okay, left to right. We are going to set it in here and also in the other one. Set rotation uh, style from left to right. And then we're going to change the direction. So we're going to go here and we're going to go uh, point in direction. So now to do that, check. For example, if you point to the left, it's doing that because it's not using this style of rotation. So now let's do it and let's insert it in here. And let's just press and now check. It is going this side. Now for the opposite side, we are not going to uh, minus 90. We have to go plus 90 and you see this rotation style. Now let's do it. That's it. If we press the keys, right, left, right, left. Now it looks good. Okay. So now, uh, what else? Now.